Okay, we would like to look here at proving law of science. First, I have a few diagrams here that we need to talk a little bit about. What I've drawn here are two prototype uh, triangles, because we have really two possibilities with a triangle. We can have our triangle being an acute triangle. So here I've drawn it with angle A in standard position. Or our angle could be an obtuse triangle. In here, without losing any generality, I've just called angle A my obtuse angle. And then what I've done here is I've labeled angle A and angle B in my triangle. Also labeling the sides, A, B, and C. And in each case, I've dropped the altitude from point C down uh, to the x-axis. Uh, and I'll label that with a little blue H. So now I'm looking at angle A here in the first triangle. we can say, um, using what we know about right triangles, the sine of A is the opposite over the hypotenuse. And then we can say the exact same thing for angle A over here, because we're using the reference triangle now. And so it would be opposite, sine of A would be opposite H over hypotenuse of a little reference triangle there B. And in both cases, now we can solve for H. We get H that is H is B sine of A in either case. Now we're going to take the same process now and we're going to repeat it for angle B. So looking first in this triangle, we have angle B there. And so you're using the right triangle there, sine of B is just the opposite over the hypotenuse. And same thing over here in the other triangle, sine of B, using the big triangle now, opposite is H, the big right triangle, H over the hypotenuse, which is A. And again, just like we did with the other one, we can solve both of those for H which is A sine of B in either case. Now I've drawn the two pictures just to demonstrate that this works regardless of whether or not we're dealing with an acute triangle, all the angles are acute, or whether or not we're dealing with a obtuse angle. Now that we know that H is B sine of A, and H is also A sine of B, and we have that in both triangles here, we can set them equal to each other. So B sine of A must be equal to A sine of B. And now we're just one step from establishing at least one half of the law of sines. And so we divide both sides by B and A. So on the one side we get sine A over A equals and we get sine B over B. And that's just one half of the law of sines. Now to finish off the law of sines, you'd have to take this picture and you'd have to do it for angle C and show that sine of C over C is equal to one of these two things, sine of A over A or sine of B over B. The proof is pretty much identical, so we won't go through that process. All we have to do is take our triangles and kind of rotate them. And so there we have it, the law of signs.